Good morning, students. In the last class, we studied about the square and square roots, and in that we started with the square. What are square numbers? How do we get to know what is the square numbers? And to find the non-perfect square between two square numbers, also we did. Now, with this, we will start some interesting patterns in the square root, starting with adding triangular numbers. Adding. Triangular numbers. So we know what are triangular numbers. Triangular numbers is nothing but, for example, this is a triangle. How many dots we have here? Three. The next triangle we have to draw. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is another triangle. The triangle we start with one dot, next three, next six. This is another triangle. Now we can see the number of dots here. Here I have five. Here I have. Here I have six. Here I have ten. Adding of triangular numbers. So that means when you are adding a consecutive triangular number, that means if I say this one or this one or this one, you will always get a square number. Square number. Example: one plus three, I get four. It's a square number. 3 plus 6, I get 9. It's a square number. 6 plus 10, I get 16. It's a square number. If you continue this, you will always end up with the square numbers. So what is this? Whenever you are adding a triangular numbers, that is a consecutive triangular numbers, you will always end up with the square numbers. Now the second pattern is about the odd numbers. Adding odd numbers. Adding odd numbers. Adding odd numbers is nothing but 1 plus 3. How much? Plus 9, 4. Correct? If I write 1 plus 3 plus 5, how much? 9. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7, how much? Here, if you see this, how many digits we have here? One digit, two digit. I can write two squares is equal to four. How many digits we have here? One, two, three. Three square, nine. How many digits we have? One, two, three, four, five. Four. Four squares is equal to sixteen. What I'm trying to explain here is, if I have so natural numbers starting with one, all numbers, all natural numbers. One plus three plus five plus seven plus nine plus eleven plus thirteen plus fifteen. If I am to add this, just count the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means the answer is sixty-four. We have eight numbers here. Eight squares, sixty-four. That is how we can do. This is one more pattern. If I write, if I continue this, <coughs> after 15 I have 70, 90, 21. How much is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is nothing but 11 square 121. This is one more pattern. Without adding manually, directly get the addition of all the odd numbers using the square concept. Now the next pattern which we have is product of two consecutive odd numbers. For example, I have product of two consecutive odd numbers. That means 
If I have 15 into 17, 15 into 17, okay, if I have to multiply, what is the number between these two? 16 square it minus 1. What is something but 256 minus 1, 255. Let's see this by doing it, okay? 75 is not 85, 5 a. 70 minus 70 plus 8. Advantage of knowing the square patterns. Now, if I write 27 to 29, what do we, what do we find? It is nothing but what, what is the middle number? 26 square minus 1. It is nothing but 26 square plus 626 minus. Well, how is 26 square? Now there's one more pattern. You need to observe this in line. I will write first one. 7 square is 49. Okay? 7 square is 49. The next one is 67 square. He is 4, 4, 8, 9. 67 square is 4, 4, 8, 9. The next one is 667 square will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 8, 9. Now if you observe this, I have 67. We got this one. In the next step, I have 67 same, but here how many fours we have? Here I have 1, it went to 2, 2 went to 4, next is 6, 6, 6, 7 square, first I have 1, 2, 4, next go to 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, Square. 
what will be the unit digit? You just have to multiply loop 2 square root is 4. This is the unit digit. Second way, the following numbers are obviously not perfect squares. 1, 0, 5, 7. 1, 0, 5, 7. Why is not a perfect square? Because in the end, 2, 3, 5, 7. Any one of these, if you see the unit place, then it is not a perfect square. No matter that. The same concept you are applying. <coughs> the square of which of the following would be odd numbers? That means, they are given a number. 2, 8, 2, 6. If I do a square, Will I get an odd number or an even number? Is this an even number? It is an even number. So, square of even is always an even number. Square of an even is always an even number. Next one. Observe the patterns. Observe the patterns. Now here, 11 square is 121. Next one is 1, 0, 1 square is 1, 0, 2, 0, 1. Now what you have to find here is one more than given. 1, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 1. Now here the next part that given is 1, The next pattern which they have given. Okay, this pattern is little interesting, okay? Let's see. One square plus two square plus two square is equal to three square. Two square plus three square plus six square is equal to seven square. Next, 3 square plus 4 square plus 12 square is equal to 13 square. 4 square plus 5 square plus dash square is equal to 21 square. 5 square plus dash plus 30 square is equal to 31 square. 6 square plus 7 square plus dash square is equal to dash square. Now, this is the pattern which they have given. Observe the pattern carefully. Okay? If you see here, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5. How much have you write here? 6 square. Done with this. Now here. 2, 3, 6, 7, 12, 13. Here. 21. That means here. 20. Next one. If you see here. 3, 2, 7, 6, 13, 12. 21, 20, 31, 30. Here, how much did I write? Any guesses? If you see here, 1 into 2 plus 1, how much you get? 1 into 2 plus 1, I'll get 3 here. Same thing if you see, 1 into 2, 2 I get. 
टू इंटू थ्री सिक्स आई है थ्री इंटू फोर ट्वेल्व फोर इंटू फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू सिक्स ट्वेंटी सिक्स इंटू सेवन फोर्टी टू नाउ इफ आई हैव फोर्टी टू हियर सी एंड थर्टी थर्टी वन फोर्टी टू दिस इज आर यू Now I want you to go to the exercise five point twelve numbers and uh, different patterns with it. Now we will try to solve few problems based on the same concept which we have already started in the last class. Okay, in exercise five point one, uh, seven percent without adding find the sum. Now without adding find the sum, they have given some odd numbers: one plus, three plus, five plus, seven plus, nine. How do we add this using the square concept? Just take all odd numbers, consecutive odd numbers we have. How many numbers we have? One, two, three, four, five. Just write five square twenty five. Just count the numbers and square it. That will be the sum of all these odd numbers. Now the next one is the reverse of this. X plus forty nine. As a sum of the odd numbers, that means you have to express forty nine as one plus three plus five plus seven plus nine plus eleven plus thirteen plus. How many numbers we have to write? Forty nine is nothing but seven square, right? That means we have to use only seven numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the last number is not. Equal to forty-nine. This one you write the sum of the odd numbers using the square concept. Now, how many numbers lie between two consecutive square numbers? What they are asking here is they have a number twenty-five and a twenty-six. They are asking that if I do a square, how many numbers I get? Twenty-five squared is how much? Six twenty-five. This is six seventy-six. So you have to add six twenty-six, six twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. Instead of adding manually, we have a concept of using two n, where n is equal to the first number two into twenty-five. This fifty. Therefore. Fifteen numbers are there. Okay, fifteen numbers are there. Now that completes your exercise five point one. In all the means, I have done one problem of these, and the rest you want to do. Now the next concept is finding square without actual. Multiplication without actual multiplication. That means if I have to find thirty-eight square, how do we do? We do thirty-eight into thirty-eight. They're asking. They don't want this matter. Is there any other matter? Yes, there is a matter. Thirty plus eight. This number I can write as thirty plus eight whole square. See, thirty-eight. I can write even thirty-two plus six, or thirty-seven plus one, or thirty-five plus three. Why did we write thirty? Because we have a zero in this. Whenever you have a zero in any number, the multiplication will become easier. So that is the reason we are taking zero. Now thirty plus eight is nothing but thirty plus eight. Multiply thirty plus eight. It is nothing but thirty. Thirty plus eight plus eight. Thirty plus eight. Thirty to thirty nine hundred. Thirty to eight two hundred forty. Again, thirty to eight two hundred forty. Eight to eight sixty four. Which are the numbers we have now? Nine hundred, two forty, two forty, sixty four, four six plus four ten fourteen four, one three two five, 
14. So the answer for this is 1 triple 4. This is how we find the square of any number without See all these problems, whichever you are watching, okay? Until unless you don't do it by it yourself, you will not understand. So the moment when you see this, I want everyone to write down, okay? Write down, do it one more by yourself. Now the next problem is 39 square. Can you just write out 39 square, which can be written as 30 plus 9. Multiply 30 plus 9. What is the next step? We have first multiplying this with these two. 30 plus 30 plus 9 plus 9 into 30 plus 9. The rest I want you to do it and check out the answer. The answer has to be 1521. If you get 1521, then it is correct. If you do not get, check it. Okay, the next one is Pythagorean triplet. Now, what is a Pythagorean triplet? Have you heard of this Pythagorean? Pythagoras is a great Greek mathematician. We can always tell that most of the mathematics concerned relating to the numbers, uh, mainly the geometrical. Most of them was brought by this guy. His name is Pythagoras. He is from Greek. Okay? Now this guy, why is called as Pythagorean triplet is, this guy has introduced a theorem called the Pythagoras theorem. And it is based on a right angle triangle. Okay? It's based on a right angle triangle. What this guy is saying is, in a right angle triangle, if you have a measurement of 5 here, if you have a measurement of 3 here, if you have a measurement of 4 here, then phi square will always be equal to 3 square plus 4 square. Okay? Now this one, 25, 3 square is 9 plus 9 plus 16 is 25. 25 equal to 25. So these numbers are called as Pythagorean triplet. So in general, Pythagorean triplet is nothing but a set of three numbers. Okay? A set of three numbers wherein the square of one of the numbers, that is, square of one of, one of the numbers will be equal to some of these squares of the other two numbers. If these two are true, then these three numbers are called as Pythagorean triplet. Okay? Now in randomly I cannot take, for example, if I take 6, 7, 8, okay, uh, this is a Pythagorean triplet, no, not possible. Okay? Again, to take those numbers, there is a method. And there are only uh, few distinctive numbers which holds good for the Pythagorean triplet. So, for example, if I take 6, 8, 10, these are the Pythagorean triplet. You want to check which is the big number? 10 square is equal to 6 square plus 8 square. 10 square is 100. Let's say 6 square. 36, 8 square. That is when you add these two, you will get 100. That is why that is called as Pythagorean triplet. Now there is a formula, formula or a concept wherein we can find it uh, Pythagorean uh, triplet, but at least one number they should be. Okay, let's see that uh, concept. How do we do this? Now there's a question. Write a Pythagorean triplet. Write a Pythagorean triplet whose smallest number is 8. That means. Okay. 
m square plus 1 and 2 m. Correct? Take this one. 2 m is equal to 6. m is equal to 6 by 2. m is equal to 3. So this value is 3. 3 square minus 1. This is nothing but 9 minus 1. Which is 8. Here, 3 square plus 1. Which is 9 plus 1. Which is 10. This is 1, this is 1. This is nothing but 6, 8, 10. So, 10 square is equal to 6 square plus 8 square. This is how we find the point of the Now, this completes your square also. Okay? And uh, in the next class, we are dealing with square also. Thank you so much for listening.